Good afternoon, Hawks, and hello, three-day weekend. I know I'm looking forward on catching up on some sleep and packing for my upcoming trip. Tess, we're going to miss you while you're gone, but while we have you here with us, let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all so much for standing with us. We have a very important thing to address, which is... Spirit Week, of course, but we can't address that without discussing the national holiday first, which is both Veterans Day and also, deliciously enough, it is National Sunday Day. Oh my gosh, how fun! But not as fun as this upcoming Monday Spirit Week, which is Movie Day. This is a perfect day for dressing up as your favorite retro movie character. Which reminds me that Tuesday is Decade Day, which is the time to show off your favorite clothing from a certain decade. It can be anywhere between the 1960s and the 1990s. This brings us to Wednesday, which is a day full of fun, bright colors, since the Spirit Day is Neon Day. Please dress as colorfully as possible. I can't wait to see that. I also can't wait to see Thursday's Get Up, either, because it's Dress Up Day for your Cluster's Float Day. I can't tell you exactly how to dress, because we don't know your Cluster's Float. Lastly is Friday, which is a day of choice. It is Biker versus Preppy Day, inspired by the movie Grease. So dress up in either. Keep your collars clean to get to be preppy and bring out your leather jackets to be biker. I'm so excited to see everyone dressing up, but now it's time for everyone's favorite way to stay up to date, your announcements. It is a season of kindness and togetherness. Speaking of, there's a box in front of the front office for winter clothing drive put together by NHS. If you have any winter gear that can be, bring warmth and comfort to another, please feel free to donate them to someone in need. There is another way to spread love. If you have any non-perishable food items, there's a separate box for those also located by the front office. Thank you all so much for your help, love, and support. We are so excited to get to Wheel Unfortunate, but we are also excitedly awaiting... Career cluster competition submissions. This week, you and your career cluster should turn in a, a picture of at least one person doing a snow angel. You get an extra bonus point if you can get your career cluster teacher to do one with you. We hope all your clusters that shall remain nameless enter and catch up to the other competition. But first, we have a Wheel Unfortunate segment to debut. Welcome back to Wheel Unfortunate with your host, Cohen Court. There is no unfortunate punishment quite like what the wheel can give out. That was no fault of mine, Charles, who got off my back. Unfortunately, undeserved blame aside, that teapot dance is something I'll never stop laughing at. Something that always seems to make the audience laugh is choosing our next unfortunate punishee. Alright, and now we're ready to see who gets drawn. Remember, the hat, the hat has no mercy. Or more the wheel, but let's see. Charlie again! Let's spin the wheel! Well, welcome back up to the I stage, Jesse. And third time, I, I can right guarantee now. you the the hat is not rigged. I don't but, believe you. Well, the wheel's not rigged at least. Let's go press it. Let's go spin it. it. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, snow angel! Look at that. You're gonna have to go do a snow angel. All right, so it's time to get on out there and do your snow angel because that's unfortunate. that not only you got picked three times for <laughs> the punishment, but that punishment ends up being the career cluster competition. Wow, Charlie, that's unfortunate. You don't even have to talk right now. I am so <laughs> mad that I've gotten picked three times in a row. Well, I would have thought that cold snow would have cooled off your hot anger, but how about you take a minute to release some steam while I talk to the seniors about the... Senior pictures. It is time to turn in your senior pictures to the one. Do not need baby baby photos just yet. And if you do not have senior photos, that's perfectly fine. We will use your standard school portrait. The deadline is to turn your senior photos is December 17th. But don't slack off on this because the date will come on before you know it. 
Juniors and seniors who are interested in joining a union after you graduate high school. If this applies to you, please stop by the counseling office and sign up to join the 2021 Apprenticeship Expo. You'll be taking a fun bus trip, bus trip over there, and please don't forget to bring your own lunch, or they have this, some there provided. There'll be two wonderful presentations there, as well as several union work representatives set up at tables for you to speak with. The expo will take place at the Alaska Works Training Center on November 18th from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. There'll be tons of union occupationalists you can talk with then. I really wanted to attend this meeting. It seems like so much fun, but I'm eager to watch the newest episode of Birthdays. Yeah, at least I can't get attacked in that. <laughs> for being around? Wait, brother? Yeah, Tess, keep up. But that is all the time we have for today, folks. Before we end, we have a very special Sothi Symphony brought to you by your very own video production by Layla Murda. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. Bye! And then we're done. Someone else on top of mine. <laughs> hey, what happens just, just happens. It's the wheel. Well, I don't understand why the universe hates me so bad. I'll take one. <laughs>